Good morning, good morning, good Sunday morning. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I hope and pray you're all doing well this morning. Um, hey, just a reminder, uh, there is no in-person worship this morning at Joy Lutheran Church. Uh, Pastor Randy is going to do a virtual service, and that will be on Facebook Live. Uh, so you can be able to check that out. Um, thank you for to, uh, to Don for going up and filming that. So uh, again, no in-person worship this morning at uh, Joy Lutheran Church. So let's get started with the Revised Common Lectionary with a few sips of coffee. Oh, good stuff. All right. This morning, January 9th, um, we celebrate the baptism of the Lord. So um, the readings take us to, we're going to start off with uh, Isaiah, and then we have a reading in the Psalms, and then Acts, and then we're going to the Gospel of Luke. So let's get started. Isaiah 43, verses 1 through 7. And as always, may God bless the reading of his word. So here we go. But now, thus says the Lord, who created you, O Jacob, who, he who formed you, O Israel. Do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the rivers, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, and the flame shall not consume you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I give Egypt as your ransom, Ethiopia and Seba in exchange for you. Because you are precious in my sight and honored, and I love you, I give people in return for you, nations in exchange for your life. Do not fear, for I am with you. I will bring your offspring from the east, and from the west I will gather you. I will say to the north, Give them up, and to the south, Do not withhold. Bring my sons from far away, and my daughters from the end of the earth. Everyone who is called by my name, whom I created for my glory, whom I formed and made. All right. Next, i uh, going to be reading Psalm 29. All right, here we go. Psalm 29. Ascribe to the Lord, O heavenly beings. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory of His name. Worship the Lord in holy splendor. The voice of the Lord is over the waters. The God of glory thunders the Lord over mighty waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedars. The Lord breaks the cedars of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon skip like a calf, and Syrian like a wild young, uh, like a young wild ox. The voice of the Lord flashes forth flames of fire. The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord causes the oaks to whirl, the strips and, and strips the forest bare, and in His temple all say glory. The Lord sits enthroned over the flood. The Lord sits enthroned as king forever. May the Lord give strength to his people. May the Lord bless his people with peace. Amen. All right. The New Testament lesson this morning. Uh, Acts chapter 8 verses 14 through 17. Now when the apostles at Jerusalem heard that Samaria had accepted the word of, word of God, they sent Peter and John to them. The two went down and prayed for them that they might receive the Holy Spirit. For as yet the Spirit had not come upon any of them. They had only been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Then Peter and John laid their hands on them and they received the Holy Spirit. All right. All right, the gospel text for this morning. The Gospel of Luke, chapter 3, verses 15 through 17, and then 21 through 22. So, uh, let's go. As the people were filled with expectation, and all were questioning in their hearts concerning John, whether he might be the Messiah, 
John answered all of them by saying, I baptize you with water, but one who is more powerful than I is coming, and I am not worthy to untie the thong of his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fork is in his hand to clear his threshing floor and to gather the wheat into his granary, but the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. Now when all the people were baptized, and when Jesus also had been baptized and was praying, the heaven was opened, and the Holy Spirit descended upon him in bodily form like a dove, and a voice came from heaven, You are my Son, the Beloved, with you I am well pleased. And this is the word of the Lord. Next we'll go to, uh, there's uh, some prayers, and I'd like to offer up some of those so uh, let us pray God of grace and glory you call us with your voice of flame to be your people faithful and courageous as your beloved son embraced his mission in the waters of baptism inspire us with the fire of your spirit to join in his transforming work we ask this in the name of our Savior Jesus Christ who lives and reigns forever and ever amen and then, sisters and brothers, our, our baptismal vows call us to compassion and mercy on behalf of those in need. And we offer our prayers for the church and the world. And if you have any prayers uh, for people, you can those now. And I'm praying for all those who are affected by the, the, the COVID, um, who are sick, and I'm just praying for healing. And then, Lord God, you revealed your Son in the waters of the Jordan and anointed him with the power of the Holy Spirit to proclaim good news to all people. Sanctify us by the same Spirit that we may proclaim the healing power of the gospel by acts of love in your name. Amen. And then God, your voice moves over the waters. Immerse us in your grace. Mark us with your images and raise us to live our baptismal vows empowered by the Holy Spirit and the example of Christ our Lord, in whose name we pray. Amen. All right, well, once again, uh, just a reminder, there's no in-person worship this morning at Joy. Uh, Pastor Randy will do a Facebook uh, live session this morning, so uh, be looking for that. And, um, of course, you can uh, check social media, check your email, and uh, as soon as I find out any news, so far it's just this week, but if I find out any news, I will certainly convey that to you here on Coffee in the Word. So, y'all have an awesome day, so be safe, be happy, and be blessed, and we'll see you tomorrow on Coffee in the Word. God bless. Bye-bye.